We begin in the UK where a manhunt is currently underway after a deadly series of stabbings in the English city of Birmingham. The violence unfolded overnight and in a busy nightlife area of that city. Laura McQuillan is tracking that story for us. So Laura, at this stage, what do we know? Natasha, we know eight people were stabbed, a man dying, and seven others were injured in that, two of them seriously, and police having to go through four separate crime scenes uh, as this unfolded overnight in the early hours of this morning. Now, in terms of that manhunt you mentioned, police are hunting for one man. They haven't said if they know who he is. They say they do have some descriptions from those who saw all of this unfold as this man made his way through the city centre, Birmingham being about two hours' drive northwest of London. And this was a really busy area with bars, nightclubs and the like, a lot of people out on the street and bars and pubs. Uh, and they say that the man first stabbed someone about 12.30 a.m., then continued his way south and apparently random attacks. Uh, in terms of a motive, police haven't elaborated on that, though they did give some details on their investigation a little earlier, and here's what they said. We have launched a murder inquiry. Clearly, we're still in the early stages of that inquiry, but what I can say is that we are treating all four of those incidents as a linked series. We are searching for one suspect, and inquiries to identify and then trace that suspect are ongoing. There's absolutely no suggestion at all that this is terror-related. Now, you heard him say a linked series. However, police have said they don't believe there was any link between the victims or where they were attacked, just that it was the same assailant in all of those incidents. You're looking at some more of the images from the scenes, which police are still processing at this point. They've also ruled out a hate crime or any kind of a gang crime in this area, which is where the gay village meets uh, the Chinese quarter of Birmingham. So police now going through CCTV footage, trying to trace that perpetrator's movements and track him down. Of course, one person dead, seven others in hospital, so we'll keep an eye on their condition, but the message from police has been to the public, stay alert because they still don't know where this attacker is, Natasha. Okay, thank you, Laura.